Hi guys, today's video, I want us to do gold analysis. And for, for this video, I want us to go from the higher time frame. We'll be starting from the monthly, weekly, daily, for our even to the lower time frame because we just want to know what is gold up to. I know many people love to trade gold because one, it's very volatile and it moves a lot. That is number one thing. And it has a very clear setup. So if you're a gold person, this video is for you. Before I forget, I want to put a disclaimer out there. There are many people who are impersonating to be me. This is my only number. This is my only number. So if you want to WhatsApp me, communicate to me, just WhatsApp using this number. I do not do investment. I don't do Bitcoin. I don't do all those things that people come to comment on the YouTube channel in the comment section. Also, the only service I give, I have a course that is available. It has 12 modules. And these 12 modules, there is 10 profitable strategy in it. And the cost is $1,000. Majority of you will ask why $1,000 is too much. It's because I'm offering 10 strategies. So if it is 10 strategies and it's $1,000, it means per strategy is $100. You may find someone selling a course at $100, $200. You have to ask yourself, how, what are you getting from that course? How many strategies are you getting? So if you pay $1,000, be assured you're getting 10 strategies and i think i can do a full video explaining the strategies and how they work and so that many people will not ask in the comment section what are the strategies that are from their thousand dollars price anyway let's get into the gold analysis and i have said we are doing top-down analysis because if you want to trade gold you have to have a bigger picture you have to have a bigger picture so i'm on the monthly time frame we have monthly monthly, weekly, daily, four hour, three hour, two hour, or to one minute. So I will start with monthly. You can see here, I don't know if you can see, let me look for the arrow. Where is the arrow? I think you can see here the time, uh, the time, the time remaining for the month to elapse is nine days, 16 hours, where it is highlighted with green. So we, we are, nine days away for the month to close. Imagine August is ending. And um, yeah, so I remember some time back, I was analyzing a gold and it was on this ranging. And I told people, uh, if, this, if we happen to have a break on this ranging, the market will definitely be going to finish this ranging. And you can see we had an attempt here of the break. So I will increase the box. So what I was telling people is that if we have a break and that break happened on March. So if you go back to my videos, those videos on March and you just watch the gold analysis, I said something like that, that gold is on a way to complete this thing. Imagine if you're on 15 minutes, you'll never see this. If you're on 15 minutes and you are uh, analyzing gold, you will never know where it is going. Yes, you will tend to know, hey, gold is keeping uh, breaking every high time, high um, highs. Where is it going? On lower time frame, you'll never know. And that's why we incorporate higher time frame. When I'm on monthly, this is how um, the market is on the monthly. And you remember when I was telling you the three things that you need to master when you're trading. Number one is your entry. So if at all I am using a pattern, this is called a ranging channel pattern. If I'm using a ranging channel pattern, all I'll be waiting is the break. You can see the channel has been broken. On the downside, we didn't have a break. Uh, uh, the market didn't come and break this channel. It didn't break. And, and you can see, we even you can extend this box like this, but I don't want to extend it like that. So the channel uh, ranging channel broke above so that is the strategy we use if you measure the distance of the channel and then you take it up that is the target that was the number two thing you need to um to keep in mind the exit so channels how do you exit channels um if the market has hit halfway 
you will be so careful on how to trade. And you can see for two months, the market really played on the half. You can see the market could not break that half. That's where you should exit because trying to complete the distance is pushing the market too high. So for three months, I don't know if you guys, you can see, for three months, the market stayed at that here half. So from April and then from May and then from June, the market stayed at half. And then this is the time now we are seeing momentum uh, coming up. So it's not a wonder goal to go another 1,777 pips. It's not a wonder. It's not a wonder goal to hit 2696 or 2600. People are debating, will it ever go to 25? Because it reached to 24 long time ago, around April. But many people are like, Will it ever hit 25? Now gold is 25. Now the question is, will it go to 26? For me, I feel it can go to 26. And also, it can never touch or attempt 27. So according to monthly time frame, if you, are be, if you have been trading gold, be careful when you want to sell because this market can continue to buy. According to monthly time frame, gold is on high time. Uh, it is on the most high time because we have never reached that area ever. We have never reached where gold is. So you cannot predict and say, this is the end for this market to go up. And because of the target and the pattern that we have, I'm telling you it can reach here. So that is from the monthly time frame. When we go to the weekly time frame, what I keep telling people is that you cannot use analysis on, we cannot use analysis of monthly to to analyze weekly monthly we want to know direction and want to know what is happening and 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 weekly it's like we are bringing it close you see how you bring something close that's what you are doing on the weekly so if i if i remove all this on the weekly i want you to see something if i remove this on the weekly you can see the market has broken a resistance. Can you see this resistance? It means weekly we had a ranging again. So we have a small ranging on the weekly. We have a small ranging on the weekly and a big ranging on the monthly. So this ranging on the weekly is not even visible on the monthly. Can you see it's green candles? Even you cannot say, if someone tells you the market has been ranging, you will be wondering why, how? Why are you telling me the market is ranging? You will be wondering, why are you telling the market is ranging and I'm not seeing any ranging? But wait, when you go to the weekly time frame, that's when you will find a small range. Why is it that monthly and weekly are now speaking the same language? And you can see, whenever weekly have a momentum, this is a bullish momentum candle, it was around 857. Imagine in a week, 857. In one week, the market pushed 857 pips. So this market really pushed last week. So this week is just a continuation of the buyers. The market is continuing to buy. But where will we target? Because we already know that the market can buy. Where is our target? That is our target. So if you see the target and the target of monthly, they are not far from each other. Are, you, are we together? They are not far from each other. When we are targeting the monthly, the monthly is the overall. This channel is the overall for the monthly. But for the weekly, it's still at the same time. And that's why you, you see, I'm telling you, gold is all time high end. It is on a bullish momentum from the monthly, weekly, they are saying the same thing, okay? So if this candle closes like this, this week, we are remaining like two days, Thursday and Friday. It is very important to know how this market will close because the first take profit, we always target half of this area. So the market you might find, it will come to 25.84. Uh, that is like how many pips? 600, 668 pips. So gold, because we have so many news on the USD, 
Uh, if USD keeps becoming weak, gold can push to hit this 2584. So keep that in mind that gold can hit. So if you are looking for sell, these are the areas where you might look for sell because the market can react badly. Like when the market reached 2584, it can sell big time. When the market will reach 2687, it can sell big time. So if you are looking for sell, if you're not interested to buy, look to sell on these zones because they are those zones that react with the market. So let's go to the daily. So are, are we together that on the monthly, the market is bullish? And when I say it's bullish or buyers are in control, I have not said you go and buy. There is two differences. There is a difference between knowing the market is bullish and being given an entry, enter now. The market can be a buy, but retrace for one week, two weeks, three weeks. So when I say the market is bullish, like right now, if this market wants to retest, it will retest this area, it will retest this resistance here before it goes up. So if you if you buy right now, the question is, lower time frame have they given you a way out to buy? So you might buy right now, but are you ready to be taking a drawdown of 353 pips? That's what I'm saying. There's a difference between the market is on a buy, but and having a buy entry. A buy entry requires a lot of attention and even involving lower time frame. So let's go to daily and see what is happening with the daily. So when we come to the daily, we can see that the market, uh, these candles, they are not screaming that buyers are powerful. Because if we identify, let me first delete, if we, we identify from where resistance was broken, yes, this candle is momentum, but we're starting having a uh, rejection candles. Red candle means market, the buyers. Imagine this buy move of how many pips? Imagine the market buying with 540 pips, then to come and be rejected immediately. That's a red flag. And then the market has attempted to break. So we have a small, we have a small resistance and this resistance guys is OPT. This resistance is OPT, it is not on the weekly. So this is what starts to give us uh, information on how to trade it. And that's why I tell people, for my students now, they already know how to trade this because in this case, we use BWA because uh, we start with the OPT, once you know the market has OPT, you go to the next um, the next strategy, which is BWA. So I will not even give you details what is BWA, but my students know in the next, uh, if this candle closes the daily, if this candle closes like that, even if it's a spinning top, they will apply BWA strategy immediately. So we, we already know what we might expect from gold. You already know what we might expect. So here we might have BWA strategy if this candle closes like that. But for you, because you don't know BWA strategy, you just need to understand that buyers are still strong because buyers are creating resistance and breaking it, creating resistance and breaking it. So from even the daily time frame, buyers are still strong. When we go to four hour, when we go to four hour, this is where everything now changes. The market is buy, but we can now try to see, let me delete and we check from the four hour. So here we have a support, guys. Here is a support and here is a support. So this market can attempt to come and break this support. Maybe they want to come to this level. That is number one you need to, uh, to, to be guided. So either it's coming here. So if you will be monitoring, if this market comes here, you'll be looking for a double bottom pattern. Can you see a double bottom pattern like that? And you trade the double bottom pattern. So that is number one thing. Uh, you can trade GBP, uh, gold when the market drops because Daily, the market is telling us market is buying because it has broken resistance. But on four hour, 
the the bias seems to be weak. Oh, can't you see the bias seems to be weak? We have this all time high, but this market has started to create lower highs. Why is that? There's something that they are not telling us. Because whenever you find the market, this market has been creating high highs all the, all the time. But why are they creating lower highs? So it's either they are creating these lower highs to come and give you a pattern here. We call it a double bottom. And this double bottom, guys, I want you to be careful with it before you trade it. Let's look if it is OPT. Will that double bottom be OPT? It won't be OPT. Can you see this red candle? It won't be OPT. So I don't know anywhere else we, we might be targeting the market to come. Let's, let's see this one. Can this be OPT? Because gold can drop. You know gold how it drops. If it starts to create low, low highs, it can drop. So let's see if the market can come there to create an OPT. Um, it's not an OPT because it might come and even tap this double bottom. So for the double bottom to trade it on four hour, it can be difficult. But let me tell you, you can try to trade it using lower time frame. So these are the areas where we are seeing clearly on the four hour. But if we go to lower time frame to look, if we have other zones, so on one hour, do we have a zone? On 30 minutes, do we have a zone? Perfect. So the market can come to this area that is OPT. So if I delete everything, you will find this area is, if you want to buy, don't buy when the market is here. Already on four hours, the buyers have no power. Even if monthly is a buy, even if weekly is a buy, you have to plan your trades. You, you really have to plan your trades. So if we are buying, if you are buying, we have to be, let's come and use OPT because OPT is what strategy that I teach here for, uh, I can comfortably teach in public because I cannot teach you RBV, I cannot teach you RWR, I cannot teach you all those. And we will be even trying to trade ICT, the order blocks. I will be teaching you order blocks because that one I can teach you. So for me, if I want to buy this market, this become my first lead, the double bottom. And you can imagine, even if the market can sell up to here, that is 508 pips. There is nothing that is too hard with gold. Gold can drop one candle like this one. Can you see this candle? And it's a 30 minute candle and it is 270. Imagine it drops two candles, it has hit this zone. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that this zone is your friend. This zone is your friend. Let me put the price label. You see this area, 20, 2464. 2464 will be your, your area because it's OPT. So if I go one hour, I don't have it. Two hours, I don't have it. Three hours, I don't have it. Four hours, I don't have it. Daily, I don't have it. So anytime you want to trade, incorporate OPT. Once you incorporate OPT, and that's why majority of people will wonder, why did this market come and stop there? Why did this market come and stop there? So if you have been monitoring gold, be assured that the market can come to reject at this area. So be on the look. The market can come with a big red candle or multiple candles, and then it stops at this area. So that is something that we need to check. So what you'll be observing, you'll be observing how the market is behaving at this support. So there's a support here, and there's a support here. Because we, are, we don't want to buy, it is, it, it is too early to buy because we need this market to do a retracement. Once it does a retracement, buying will be easier. So the market can still buy. Do you know why it is easier? Because we will use all what we know about double bottom. Double bottom, we know the market has a neckline. That's why it is easier to trade patterns. 
we have a neckline and also we have a half. So even if the market uh, react on this area to form a double bottom, when we get the CRB entry, we are able to target to the half. If half is broken, we are able to target to the, to the neckline. Once the neckline is broken, guess what? The market is going this distance. You see, the market will go this distance. So we, we will be having more evidence trading gold that way than just uh, jumping in because everyone is saying gold is a buy. You need to have planned yourself. Just plan yourself very well. By the time you're entering that trade, you have all the evidence because there's no way you can. By the time you have an entry, you have observed that trade for more than like two, three days. Other trades, we observe it for weeks before it gives us an entry. So don't think you will come and find an entry right away and enter. So why have I gotten to that area? I'm saying I'm, I'm anticipating the market to come to this area so that I can get a pattern to work with throughout. So if I go to the daily, so this is what my thoughts are on the lower time frame. If I go to the daily, remember daily, I do not have any, any, any thoughts. But on the weekly, I had a ranging channel. Remember the weekly ranging channel? So let's see this ranging channel, how it is. So if I clone it, the distance of this ranging channel, I want to see what is happening with this ranging channel. You can see, you can see the market, uh, the, our ranging channel, our half is exactly the neckline on the 30 minutes. It's not a coincidence, guys. It's not a coincidence. So if you want to trade gold, if you want to trade gold effectively, don't just hope in because everyone is hoping in. Go to four hour, observe how the market is dropping. And it's it's not a must it drops. The market can, the market can go up. And that's why I'm saying for my students, they already have the BW strategy if this candle closes like that. But for you, you will have to wait. This is your pattern for gold and be watching it. And it, it's how many pips to the trade? 527. I'll be watching it. In fact, I will put an alert. If it hits that place, I want to trade. Uh, I want to trade it using this pattern to see how it will go. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed those gold analysis. Uh, keep it, add it to your watch list. And immediately it touched 2464. Come to this video and comment. It has activated a double bottom, which is OPT. All the best, guys. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.